in today's two minute tip, I'm gonna show you how to keep your white cauliflower white. I'm between my brassica beds right now, and today we're gonna to be talking about cauliflower. Now, if you eat cauliflower, you should grow cauliflower. Unless you buy organic, a lot of pesticides can get in between the florets. So it's always best, if you can grow it, grow it. Now, one of the biggest complaints about cauliflower is that it turns color when it starts to mature. And it can turn a pink, a purple, um, it can even go brown or gray. Now, there are varieties that are pink and orange and purple, and that's cool. But if you want to, if you're growing white and you want it to stay white, there's a couple things you can do. Now, I will tell you that other than the look of it changing, there's no degra degradation in the actual floret, in the quality or the taste, nothing. In fact, the more purple or pink it gets on it, the healthier it is for you. Those are anthocyanins. And so those are really good for you in terms of antioxidant properties. But if you want your white cauliflower to stay pristine white, just like you'd find in the grocery store, then you need to protect it from the sun as it starts to mature. Uh, all those colors you see are either sun damage or they're caused by the sun. If it's brown or gray, it's damaged, so it's been really hot sun on it. And if it's pink or purple, it's just an enhanced coloring because of the sun. One of the ways you can do that is by simply breaking over the top leaf. Now this is better to do if, you, if it's close to harvest, uh, and you still need to do this, then you can break the leaves over. If you've got more time and you've got a clothespin, there's one more thing you can do. You can actually take the leaves and kind of gather them all together at the top and clothespin them. You can also use a rubber band, but I find that if I wanna be peeking in there to see how it's maturing and if it's ready to harvest, um, the rubber band is a little bit more difficult because as you take it on and off, it rips the leaves apart. So I like the clothespin method because it's very easy to open and close and check on the progress. All right, that's it. I'll see you guys on Saturday.